Let's talk about looking ahead and picking a race that could really motivate you. There is no doubt that races can really get you out there on the days during the winter or during the summer when the weather is just simply not cooperating in order to get that training run in to be ready for that key race. And a trip to some really nice destination is also extremely motivating. So here are a couple things that uh, I suggest. First of all, you need to do your homework. You need to go to the website of several projected races, look at the closing time. Is it realistic for you to be able to meet that? Look at what the weather usually is at that time. Uh, there are several sites you can use to uh, look at the weather and see the history in a given locale. For example, when we chose the date for our Jeff Galloway 13.1 and Barb's 5K, we wanted to pick a time in Atlanta when it was cool but not really cold. And we wanted to pick a closing time that almost anyone could finish in, including walkers. So we picked a four to four and a half hour uh, finish time, and it's going to be more like four and a half hours. Uh, most people could sort of crawl it in four and a half hours. Uh, there are several wonderful races that are held overseas. I've talked for years about the Athens Marathon and the uh, Apostolos Tours that do a fantastic job in putting it on. But the Run Italy Tour in Rome for the Rome Marathon is another spectacular trip. So look into it, uh, chart your calendar, and I hope to see you out there on the road. I want to tell you about a fantastic massage tool. It's called the BFF, and I hadn't found anything that invigorates the muscles and tendons better than this for running. It vibrates and it really brings that blood flow in there so that you can use it as a warm-up device or afterwards to work out the knots and reinvigorate the muscle after a really, really tough workout. It's almost like having a massage therapist that stays right with you wherever you go.